fashionistas! Welcome to Passion for Fashion, your weekly review of Indonesia's amazing world of style. I'm Janice and this week I'm going to meet a designer who is imaginative with the use of silhouette and always gives a touch of sexiness in his designs. Let's meet Tri Handoko in today's Star Spotlight. I'm here with inspiring Tri Handoko. How are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. This is an amazing studio. Thank you. I really, really love your collection as well. Thank you. I really feel like how amazing this is. So, how you started to become a fashion designer? Actually, I never um, really wanted to be a fashion designer. I used to be a dancer. The last time I was on stage as a dancer when I was 18. When I was in high school, I had this um, girl who sat next to me and she loved to make sketches and then I got interested and I think the first time I designed a cloth and joined a competition when I was in high school in Malang. So you know you are super well known for your tailoring, your modern cutting but especially for your minimalistic simple kind of touch so let us know a little bit more about that. It's never Plan. Just it, it came out naturally. I only use my feelings, my heart, and I'll just do whatever I know that I'm good at. Every creation that I create, I always be honest to myself. Especially, that I think that's the most important thing. You just be honest to yourself. Before all of his achievements today, Tree studied fashion and also worked as an intern for a variety of designers. Those experiences molded him before he finally decided to launch his own label, Franto. This then led to his own fashion label with his name, Tri Handoko, in 2002. So what fascinates me about you, Tri, is that you're not a follower. You kind of have your own thing going on, your own persona. And you, and you design stuff that makes people happy. So tell us a bit more about how you feel about that. I'm just trying to do whatever comes into my Hard. I don't really follow trends because, in my opinion, trends are made by people and we are people. Mm -hmm. So why can't we create our own thing or trend? I try to do something that people hasn't done yet. So tell us about your brand, Franto. That's actually my first brand because at the first time I wasn't very confident about using my name as a brand because I felt like, you know, who wanted to wear 300 or you know, like, no, that's like a no. And then I created this brand. Actually, it came from my name also, Franto. It's uh, Francisco's 300. Interesting. Yeah. What was the signature for Franto? If you see my first collection in 1989, you can see that I am still the same person. Thing. I still have the same DNA for all my creations. Either it's Trihandoko, either it's Austere, either it's Tri by Trihandoko, they all have the same DNA too. With a little bit of twist here and there, but the DNA are all the same. Mainly the essence of the whole, yes. you know, the chic, classy, yes. not too eccentric kind of look is exactly. in it. Yep. That's Classic with a twist. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I've noticed and I really, really love that. Tri Handoko is also famous for his tailoring skills. In 2015, he succeeded in launching Oster, his ready-to-wear deluxe that accentuates glamour in a different perspective. His project of love, Oster, blew people away in the Ip Me trend show in 2015. So, for your latest label, Oster, yep. tell us a bit more about the collection. Oster itself means simple, nothing fancy. Well, actually, it has several meanings, but this is the one that I took. The character is very modern, clean. Something classic, but with a twist. So tell us a bit more about why you use the colors white, black, and gray as a palette to work with. Probably because I'm not very good with colors. <laughs> I really cannot explain that, honestly. I cannot explain that. It's just something that drawn me. So Tree, you showcased Austere, 
with the theme Porcelain yes. in If Me Fashion Show. Yep. 2015? Yeah, correct. And after that, you did that as well in Jakarta Fashion Week 2015. Yes. So tell us a bit more about the collection that you showcased. Uh, yeah, the, the collection is actually inspired by Porcelain. It's, the, it's nothing harsh. It's well constructed with a smooth edge. And for Jakarta Fashion Week, the theme was Requiem. That one, I did a collaboration with uh, one of fashion stylists, uh, Adi Suranta, and we did this uh, Requiem theme. Actually, it's quite different, but only on the styling, I think. Not really on the pieces, but more into the styling. So please describe to us austere men. Uh, something that I would love to wear myself. Again, very subtle, so nothing harsh, simple, artistic, I think, in a way. Of course, I still do classic things for men, but again, with a twist. I don't do boring things. Aha, uh -huh, for sure. Uh. <laughs> I was just looking through the, the collection there, I was like, no, no, nothing boring. <laughs> I see that you also use kind of like a denim kind of color. Yeah. And I like that too. It's 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 not Oh right. Actually that's my uh, second line. My first line is three hundred gold. And then I have austere. Austere is for men and women. And then the third one is three by three handoko. But for now it's only for men. There are differences between austere men and three by three handoko. Even though they are they both are men for men's collection. Three for three handoko is younger, more streetwear, more casual? Yeah, playful. Okay. Yeah. But austere for men, not serious, but more mature. So three, thank you so much for your thank time you. today. Thank you for having me in thank your studio. You. I'm gonna go shopping in the girl and the boys sure. section. So thank you so much. After the break, we'll meet one Muslim fashion designer with a unique signature using flowers.